I'm 22 years old. Uh, my mother is a retiree from the military. She did 20 years of service in the Navy doing satellite navigations. I started very young. Um, because of my mother's, because of the military background, she was very disciplined with me and my older brother. And whenever, whatever it was, she always told me, if you're going to do something, be the best at it. Very rare when I got praise for something, unless it was like, it was truly exceptional. And, you know, I, I tried doing the, uh, you know, $50 for every A thing, and that, that didn't quite work out. So, but my mother expected, she always expected me to excel in everything that I did. And when I didn't, she wasn't too happy. I've always known I wanted to do something with aircraft. Um, as a result of being a military child, um, I got to see the military jets. I was brought upon aircraft carriers, submarines, uh, battleships. I saw many air shows, and I've always been fascinated with things that fly. Um, so I knew before I got there that I was, was going to do aeronautical engineering. I just I want to be on the cutting edge research. Um, I, I hope that it will not be used for, I hope the technology will not be used for destructive purposes. However, I do want to advance the technology. Until, until I got to East Cleveland, I was a part of the military school system, which was very disciplined, um, very education-based. Uh, there, were, there were no problems. The reason why is because all the students were very disciplined. The reason why all the students were disciplined is because if the students got out of line, the parents got in trouble for it by the military, not by the school, by the military. And so because of that, all the students were well behaved. You know, we all did our homework. Um, there were very few, I can honestly say there were very few students who didn't do well. Like, but those were students who literally just didn't care and their parents didn't care. Uh, when I got to East Cleveland, though, things changed. Um, I was, first of all, I was in a public school system. Um, I went to Roselle Elementary School, which was a shock for me. Um, the students there were not like what I had been used to. The students had little self-control, um, very little respect for the, for the authorities. Um, they were violent and it was vulgar. It was going through the East Cleveland school system was a wake-up call for me. How I came to find out about Horizon was by pure luck. My mother had been to need to go to the library one day and there happened to be a flyer there. Knew that if I wanted to go beyond that area, that environment, that I did not, there was no way I needed to be at Shaw. I don't feel that I would have been able to go to MIT if I had graduated from Shaw. And so it was, it was definitely a blessing to go to Horizon. Um, the counselors saw in some cases, in some classes, that I was bored. And so what they did, they sent me to uh, a community college to take some more advanced courses. Prior to MIT, I was a very impatient person. Very, let's get this done. And when I, when I tried to teach people, if they didn't get it when I felt they should have, it was kind of frustrating. Um, now what the frustration is, is dealing with individuals who who aren't trying as hard as I feel they could. Uh, the main frustration is when I put in the effort and I'm really trying to help them and they, are, they either aren't responding or they're not putting in the effort. Um, it's, it's great when you teach somebody something and like they get it. And like, like every now and then you, you explain something and they just stare at it for a little bit and then you just see the light bulb go off in their mind and they, they got it. They weren't patient enough to work with the, the students so it was just, I, I definitely, when I was in the East Cleveland school system, it was at the time, I don't know how the condition is now, um, but at the time there have definitely been times where the teacher would try to get the class under control and would just stop and the class would just go on and talk and not do anything for the entire class period. And I did actually remember asking my teacher, you know, why don't you say anything? And they were just like, you know, I'll teach when they're ready to learn. And it's just, I mean, what, what can you do? I wanted to run track. Um, I was also a part of a band. I've always been a part of band. Um, 
and marching band. But those things, although though I desired them, they were not as important as getting an education. In my opinion, it's just my opinion, I think a large part of it is the parents. Um, for the reason I think that is because of my mother. And I can't say that that's the case for some of my peers because I remember one of my one of my peers said he dropped out of high school simply because it was too far to walk every day. And his mother was sitting next to him when he said this. And I'm just and I, and I looked at her like, "Are you serious?" I, I put the responsibility on the parents because they need to have, in my opinion, because they're the parents, they're, they're supposed to be the ones who have the wisdom and the knowledge to guide their, their children in the right direction. But at the same time, their product is the same environment as well. So I don't put too much responsibility on them, but I feel like they should know better.